homeschool lunch of the day is ramen. Peter made ramen um, for everybody. Yep. Thank you very much. Hi there and welcome to my channel. I'm Jennifer and this is A Country Life and we do a whole lot of food around here. We are a family of six. We typically cook at home, we school at home, and we work from home. So lots of food happening in this house. Uh, lunch is my least favorite meal of the day. Tell me, is it your least favorite meal of the day? And in this video, I am just going to share our lunches over the course of the next week or two, whenever I remember to pick up the camera and film what we have. What's normal around here is we have a lot of leftovers for lunch. I am a big proponent of eating up leftovers. Sometimes what I'll do is I'll save like the leftovers for a couple Couple days and then we'll have all the leftovers on one day for lunch that works too sometimes I just do leftovers add in a little bit of new stuff and we call it lunch so now let's get on with the days of lunch and this is what lunch is looking like today that's it pretty simple and cheese stick. each of the kids made their own sandwich a cheese stick peanut butter jelly sandwich a celery and peanut butter cups and so there we go Happy lunch. <laughs> Believe it or not, everybody wants to have lunch again. So it's really, it's just me and the three youngest kids home for lunch today. Sam, he goes to um, high school for the afternoon and he actually goes for lunch so that he can hang out with like friends and stuff like that for a little while. So anyway, that's why it's often times five of us home. Okay, so I have just four pieces of bacon that I had left in a package. So I'm putting that in to the oven right now. I'm melting some butter over here. We're going to do, I just had such a taste for scrambled eggs. So I'm going to do some scrambled eggs. And then I also had just the leftover from the jar of applesauce that we opened last night at supper. So I put applesauce into three little bowls for the kids. I have blueberry muffins here that we will have. I'm just popping over here. I'm going to make some toast here, just regular old store-bought white bread. And then this was actually sent to me. This is from, um, it's Fig Preserves. And I have been really, really liking this. I'd never had anything fig in my life before. And so this is delicious. So we're going to have some jelly on our, or actually this is preserves. We're going to have that on toast. I was trying to homeschool and make lunch and I got the eggs a little brown. Sorry yes. about that. I like That's them back fine. like that. Oh, you like them with a little brown? Okay. Yeah. Everyone's making up their own plate. This is Peter's and so he's going to go and have some lunch. Yeah. Maria's getting her plate ready. Come on. The eggs are so slippery. They're slippery? Yeah. I'm in for lunch and I see that I had the camera out on the marsh when Jennifer needed it to film her meals of the week. I get to film meals of the week. Well, one of them. So this is lunch today. It is French toast made with the homemade bread from last night that Jennifer made. I had nothing to do with this. She made all of it. So just so you know, it's kind of nice when I come in and she made me lunch. She's pretty good to me. Is that too much syrup? What do you think? That looks like lunch. I think the syrup is just fine. Yep, the syrup amount was perfect. Well, we've got homeschool lunches of the week. Continuing, Maria is going to have a couple tortillas, and are you going to make like a sandwich and melt the cheese, or? No, I'm just going to do what we do. We like spread the cheese on it, roll, and then keep it spread out and put it in the microwave, and then it go, it's melt, and then you roll it up. Okay, so, so she's having tortilla and cheese, two of them, and then we're finishing up the meatball hot dish. So the spaghetti and meatball hot dish, or not really spaghetti, but penne pasta. Joe is having some and I'm gonna heat this up. I'm gonna put a little extra cheese on mine and Peter's having a helping and we're also having heart-shaped cookies. Hey, take two. You want two? <laughs> is it gonna clear? Well, hi everybody again. Uh, the kids are hungry. Why is it every day around 11.30 or noon they are just starving? So we are gonna be having lunch and here's what I have some leftovers. I have a little bit of mashed potatoes. Leftovers <laughs> through the camera. I don't think it always looks very nice. You know, everyone's already like scooped and it's already gotten messy around the edges. Anyway, that is mashed potatoes and some chicken with gravy. The gravy, the chicken has really soaked up a lot of the gravy, so there's not much of that left, but I am going to heat all of that, and I think between Joe and I, we are going to happily eat that. Leftover vegetables always look a little uh too. <laughs> When you look at them, the butter has 
hardened up again. And anyway, I have some leftover asparagus from last night. I will be the only person eating that up. I think this is brats. I'm hoping that's what I'm going to find. Yes, so two brats left over from last night's supper. And then I also had one of these packages of the Priano cheese tortellini. I kept saving this thinking that I was going to make one of those uh, like sausage spinach tortellini soups. I really think I would probably be the only person that would eat it. I know Warren is not a fan of tortellini, although maybe the kids would eat it. I'd have to leave the word spinach out and just let the spinach just be in there and not mention anything to them or they'd probably be a little weirded out by that. But anyway, I never got to it. I kept thinking that I wanted to make something like that. I've seen other YouTubers make soups like that with the tortellini and the sausage and the spinach and whatever else they put in it, usually like onion and maybe some carrots, I don't know. And they, it always looks so good to me. And I've never made anything like that. No, Emily and I made something once that both her and I liked, but I don't think our husbands were huge fans of it. Anyway, I never ever did that. So today I'm just gonna boil these up. And I know that Peter and Maria, um, they've been eyeing them up in the fridge for quite a while. We'll just butter Parmesan cheese, call it good for them, along with the brats and whatever else we can find. So that is how lunch goes around here. So once I have everything plated up, I'll give you guys a quick peek of at how it all looks. Peter and Maria are eager to eat. So this is Maria's plate. Neither of them ended up wanting sliced brat. So that is what they're getting. Joe has this, but he also wants a brat Please. along with that. And then this is my plate. I'm still working on warming up the asparagus. Without reviewing the, all of the footage that I've taken for another Homeschool Lunches of the Week video, I think today is going to be the last day. I am making black bean quesadillas today. What I have here are some flour tortillas. I have some salsa. I have some black beans. I rinsed and drained these. I'm going to pour in some salsa. That looks to be about enough. There's no real recipe for this. I think that's what I like about quesadillas so much is you can really do anything you want. My Some of my kids will just want cheese and black olives in their quesadilla. I think if you have leftover chicken and you saute up some peppers and onions and use some Monterey Jack cheese, that makes a delicious, delicious quesadilla. So, but today we're doing black bean. This is one of my favorites. I think Peter will eat these. Um, I'm not really sure. Maybe Warren will have one. He may just want to, I don't really know what he's gonna want to do. He may not even come in for lunch today. He's been working on sanding the cranberry beds. I know in the video, thanks for all your sweet comments to him. It's so nice, it really encourages him because I know that he's like, oh, nobody wants to see that. I'm like, no, I really do think that they do want to see it. Yeah, he's been sanding. You saw in that video that he was rolling snow to um, compact it around the edges so that he could have a nice smooth and firm surface for driving the dump truck out on. And so he's been just trying to do that. And it seems like every time they are predicting that we're going to get like up to you know, like 28 degrees, we don't. It ends up staying really cold. I'm just turning around. It's actually only 19 right now, so chances are he's not sanding. He's probably doing firewood right now again. I like to just kind of smash some of them just so that you have kind of a nice paste, basically, that you're working with. I'm going to butter up the sides of the tortillas. This is another one of my Rada Cutlery little tools in the kitchen. I absolutely love this little tool. I don't know if it has a name, it just says Rada Cutlery. Anyway, it's like a little spreading whatever. It does have a serrated part on. I'm not, I don't really think I ever use that. But anyway, I just love this. It's really stout, so it doesn't, um, it doesn't bend. I like that. Well, come on, my butter. It's, it's cold. I don't even know if we've turned the heat up yet today. I think it's still 65 in the house. And the butter is a little chilly. Sometimes we just forget to turn the heat up because we're just moving around and, you know, the kids and I are doing school and I'm doing laundry in between little lessons and, you know, I was helping Maria with piano today and we did pizzazz art and so, I don't know, we're just kind of active and doing things and all of a sudden, maybe you slow down for a second and you're like, whew, it is cold in here. I try not to go all the way to the edge because usually when I push down, whoops, the top, it will kind of press it out. Okay. 
Joe's walking down the hall. He just said, lunch? <laughs> I think he heard me. He heard me talking to the camera about what I'm making. Right, Joe? Yeah, sandwich. Yeah. You want a sandwich? Yes. You don't want quesadillas? No. Joe does not like flour tortillas. He doesn't like them with soft, with soft shell tacos. He does not like them when we do shrimp tacos. <laughs> he just doesn't like soft shells at all. All right, I'm just gonna turn my heat down a little bit because I don't want yeah. him to get too dark before I flip them. But where's him? Crazy, jo jo crazy. Joe made himself a sandwich there, and I'm gonna give him a few chips. Do you want some black olives? No, no olives today. I'm no, sorry. No olives. Do you want a cutie? No. Do you want a carrot? No. That's it. Yes. Okay. Just it. All right, I'm on the struggle bus here, turning these today. I don't know why they just. There we go, that one turned much better. Uh huh. Black bean quesadillas are all finished. We're gonna serve that up. That's just what it looks Where's like. Mine? Black beans, the salsa, the cheese. Dip it in a little bit of sour cream, and mm mm mm, that is delicious. Peter, I have a plate. Uh, no, I didn't get you a plate yet. And I have black bean quesadillas, Peter. Or I also have just a couple. Have you black beans? Those are the black beans with the salsa and the cheese. Yes. But there's also ones with Do you want it cut in half? Yes. Okay. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you in the next video.